This video will show the Boss 3 Tower Runner roll. This will be the overview video, later followed by the actual fight. We will run a standard DPS build. We will use a scanner pulse skill and a revive hive. Some people switch out their obliterate chess piece for unbreakable. The encounter will begin when the diagnostic roll on the console at the top of the tower presses the button and when the button on the console on the floor on the freebie color is interacted with. Once Diag interacts they will jump down. They will come down to the chain to go up. The tower runner will follow Diag up the chain and over to the diagnostics console. We will look to see which color has a light on it. For this example we'll start with blue which is steam. These will come up in a random order. We will look for the boxes that have steam coming out of them. When we find the box that has steam coming out of it, we will stand next to the valve and interact with it. There are nine valves to check on the second floor. We will need to interact with the three that have steam coming out. As we're interacting, we'll be calling it out, pressing first one, pressing second one. Once we press the third one, we will jump down and head to blue and help to damage the boss to put him away. Once we're finished, once again, we will follow Diag back up the chain. We will wait for the tower to stop with the steam phase. We will look up to make sure. We can hit our scanner pulse at this time to help with the DPS roll. Then we'll head back up the chain. Once at the top of the chain, we'll run back over to the diagnostics console again. And in this example, we will Assume that yellow is next, which is electricity. We will need to interact with the electric boxes. There are three boxes on the third floor, three boxes on the second floor, and there are 13 boxes on the first floor. Once again, there will only be three boxes that will need to be sparking that we will need to interact with. After looking for all the boxes, once again, the same as we did with the steam boxes, we will call them out as we interact with them until we get to the third one. As you can see, there's an electric box to the right of yellow. And once these are all satisfied, the boss will come out again. We will help damage, and then we will run back to the chain on red. Once again, we will follow diagnostics up, but we will check the tower to make sure that the electricity phase has ended so that we do not take damage when we go back up. We get to the top, we'll follow back over to diagnostics. In this example, we'll assume that red is the phase. Since it is fire, we will jump down quickly off the tower because the tower will immediately have fire on it, which will kill you. We'll run to red, help to damage the boss. In this example, we use red was last. When red is last, we do not do a red check, but if red is not last, we'll go back to red again and do a red check, at which point Tower Runner will not go back up the tower. Once those three phases are complete, we will need now be on COGS. Our COGS will be at yellow-blue. The goal of the COGS is to move the COG Pac-Man mouth around to the orange dot. If you have two COGS to complete, you'll be turning valves that are up on the second floor of the tower. It's good occasionally to go and look to see how far around they need to go before you start the encounter. But once it is called that it's time to be on COGS, you'll head up the chain here on the red chain. Run over and jump down in front of blue. Go to the left, and then you'll see the two valves that are in front of yellow blue. These are the COGS that you will be turning. You'll start by turning a full turn all the way around, and then you'll do quarter turns until you hear the large clunk. Once you hear that and you've completed both valves, you will jump down and you will prep your right cog by shooting the Pac-Man mouth, which will have an orange glowing light inside of it since it will be turned all the way around. Once this is complete and you've called out that you have prepped your yellow blue cog, you will move to the main door and prepare yourself to break lava. Once the Diag has set their trap and has called out that trap is set, you will begin by shooting out the orange dots inside of the Pac-Man mouth. The gate will open. You will shoot the lavas. Once that is complete, you will call out that you are moving to red-yellow lava. 
The four horsemen roll will also be breaking lava with you. You will continue on and complete this lava also. Once you've completed red yellow, you will move around to yellow blue. And you'll repeat again, shooting out the cog on both sides, and then shooting the lava. You will make sure that you stand to the left side of the lava because when the lava comes out, it will kill you if you're in the middle or to the right. Once you have finished breaking the lava, you will go up the chain. Once up the chain, you will help to shoot the boss off of the turrets. You'll be on three turrets, you shoot him off the first two, and then wait on the third until the diag has set their trap. Also, once you are finished with the first two, the boss on the third turret, you will want to switch your scanner pulse to a decoy. This will help you when you jump down to press one of the console buttons on the first floor. Once the boss has been shot off the turret and the boss is killed and the diag says they have the key, you will jump down, call a color, and run to the console. For this example, we will call yellow, drop our decoy to help with the ads, go to the console, and press the button. Once that is finished and all three consoles have been pressed, then the encounter ends. Next we will show the actual boss fight from the tower runner roll. So this will be the boss three tower runner boss fight. Run our standard DPS build. I've chosen to use unbreakable chess piece and our skills will be the revive hive and the scanner pulse. Diag has pressed the button on the top console at the bottom on the freebie color has also been pressed starting the encounter. As Diag jumps down we will follow Diag to the chain. We will look at the tower to make sure that the steam has finished before we ascend up the chain. Once we reach the top we'll run over to the Diag console to see what the color is. It is fire, so immediately we will dive off of the tower, run to red to help to add damage to the boss. Once the boss is damaged and immune, we will wait for Diag to go back up the chain. Once again, checking the tower to make sure that the fire has stopped so that we can ascend back up the chain. Once at the top of the tower, again, we run back over to the Diagnostics console and wait for the color to come up. This time it is blue, which is steam, so we'll drop down to the second floor and look for the steam valves. Occasionally the steam is difficult to see, and we'll just go to the steam valve that has the X for interacting to turn the valve. After we turn the valve, we will call out that we're turning the first one. We'll then move to the second one and turn the valve. Once we finish this, we'll call out again that the second valve has been turned. And as you could see, the steam was on the other side, so we'll have to run around to the other side of the tower and turn the third. As we turn the third, we'll hear the sirens, which means the boss is out. We will jump down and we will run to blue to help to put damage on the boss. We'll go back to red to the chain, and once again we'll follow, follow diagnostics up the chain. We'll wait for the steam to stop. We'll run our scanner pulse. And then we'll head back over to the diagnostic console. It's going to be yellow, so we will look for sparking electrical boxes to interact with. Once again, there are three boxes on the third floor, three boxes on the second floor, and 13 boxes on the first floor. During this fight, all of the electrical boxes were on the floor. Once we figure out that none are on the tower, we have to jump down and run the floor. Electrical boxes can be on the inside or on the outside wall. There's our first electrical box. We will move to it and interact with it. Once again, calling out that we have interacted with the first box. We will continue around the floor of the tower and as from here we can see our second and third boxes. So we will call out that we are hitting our second electrical box and that we're about to hit our third electrical box. After interacting with this, the boss will come out. We'll immediately move away, get back in the heel circle turn, 
and put damage on the boss to help out. We'll go back to red for our red check. On red check, Tower Runner does not go up the chain. We will wait down on red and help to shoot ads. We will wait for Diag to call out that the red check has been completed and that we are on COGS. At this point, Diag has called that COGS are the next phase. So we will jump down and go up the chain and head towards the yellow blue COGS. Occasionally you'll have snipers up on the top that you will need to deal with. Make sure you take them out before you go to your COGS so that they do not damage you. Once at your COGS, you will have a full rotation all the way around. And then quarter turns. And there's the loud clunk that you will be listening to here. That means the cog is set. And that time it was two quarter turns after the full turn when we heard the large clunk. At this point we will call out that yellow blue cogs are set. We will jump down and shoot the orange light out. Now we will call that yellow blue is prepped. Once this is finished we will move to the main door we will wait for Diag to call that the trap is set. And we will wait for the four horsemen roll to come with us to help us break Lavas. Diag has now called that the trap is set, so we will shoot out the cog lights. And then we will shoot out the lava. Once again, making sure that we stand to the left of the lava because as the lava is broke, if you're standing in the center of it or to the right, it will kill you immediately. We will continue on around to red yellow. We'll call this out each time as we move so that the heels and the DPS rolls can move with us to help control the ads around us. And finally, we will move around to yellow blue to break the lava. If you were on the floor and you get foamed by the boss, just aim at your feet and shoot the foam. Wait for the next chain and then ascend up the chain. Once at the top, we continue to help control ads down on the bottom floor. As we circle around the control tower, we'll continue to look down, continue to run our scanner pulse to help identify the adds, and then we'll move over and help take the boss off of the first turret. Once he's off the first turret, we continue to circle, look down, and continue to shoot and control adds. Now that the boss is on the second turret, we will move on around the tower until we get to the second turret to help take him off. Once again, now that he's off the turret, we will continue to circle, shoot and control adds down on the floor. At this point, we will switch over from our scanner pulse to our decoy skill. This will help us as we run to a color console at the end to press the button. Now that he's on the third, Diag has set the trap. We will shoot him off the trap. Typically, the boss will turn and move toward the right and go to the trap. In this situation, the boss ignored the trap and jumped down. At this point, we all have to jump down to the floor. We take turns throwing out decoys to trail to re-establish a new trap on the floor. Diag will call out for individuals to throw their decoys out when needed, and we will continue to damage the boss until we put him away. As you can see, more decoys are being thrown to hold him in place. 
And once again, this is one of two scenarios that can happen. Hopefully he stays up on the turret level and runs toward the Diag Trap. But if not, this is how we manage to damage and put him away. Once he's put away, Dag will run down and grab the key. You will call out a color that you're going to. We are moving to the red console. We try to have a backup for each console. We'll stand and shoot ads around us until Diag puts the key in. Once Diag calls that the key has been put in, we'll interact and press the button on the console. Then we will finish shooting and killing any remaining ads that are left. Once all the ads have been killed, we can move over to the loot pile and collect any of our loot from the encounter. And this ends the encounter for Boss 3 and the Tower Runner role.